Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this is what we're going to make today. This is a quick and easy, but a very cute and useful project. You can make these ahead of time and just not glue the bottom together, lay them in a drawer, and then glue them together when you need them. You can make them for any occasion, but I'm going to make some for Christmas. They're pretty sturdy, so they're going to hold quite a bit down in there. I probably will put like perfume and socks and you know different trinkets and things in here for my kids but you can make them different sizes this one is five and a half by five and a half so that's a pretty good size you could make them larger if you want to just use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock all right so let's get into making this project so you're going to need two pieces of cardstock that is eight by eight and a half and i'm using this christmas red because i'm going to use one of our new christmas paper packs on the eight and a half inch side you need to score at one half and at three Then you need to turn it one turn and you need to score at two and a half. Okay, you need to do that for both sheets, the same scoring. So we're going to score at one half, at three, and then we're going to turn it and we're going to score at two and a half. All right, go ahead and fold and burnish all your score lines. Now on the end right here where it has the half inch score line, this bottom part right here, you're going to cut that away. We don't need that. So go ahead and I'm going to get my larger scissors. Go ahead and cut that part away. And I go ahead and cut out the, the whole score line. It just makes it a little bit easier when you start folding everything. Okay, I'm going to grab my big scissors. They cut a lot better. Those other ones are dull and they need sharpening. All right, then go ahead and trim up on this score line and then cut out all of that score line just like that. So we're just cutting that score line out. Just leaves a tiny little gap right there. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side where you've got that little rectangle right there. You're going to cut that out. And on this part up here, I just kind of angle it out like we've done lots of times before. I'm going to go ahead and trim a little bit more because I didn't get all of that score line out of there. And then on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut it up and then take that score line out. Just like that. So that's the cutting that you need to do. Okay, now we're going to assemble these together. And I'm going to go back over this right here just a little bit more and burnish it. I want these to fold really, really well. All right, I'm going to lay this down. And I'm going to put score tape right here. And I'm going to put score tape on that one. that okay. all right now what we want to do before we go any further is we want to mark our little piece right here that we're going to cut out you can't really run this through your big shot or you, i can't because mine is just six inches wide and it would cut into this part over here so i have got two circle dies here and i i've got mine taped together right now because i'll show you why in a little bit but i'm going to use this outside one first and all i'm going to do is just kind of match it up from here to this score line over here i'm just going to kind of center it up 
and then I'm bringing it down maybe let's see about how far I'm bringing this down I'll give you an idea I'm bringing it down about an inch and a fourth from here to the top of that and then I'm just gonna draw me a line see if I got some more lead in this yep I'm gonna draw a little line Okay, let's see if we can see that. There's my line right there. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim that out. So just find you something that's circular and put it on there and trim it out just like that. That's all you have to do. So then I'm just going to take this piece and lay it right on top of this piece. Just matching it up all over. And then I'll draw that circle and we'll trim that out. If you had a big punch, you could do this easily with a big punch, but I don't have one that's quite this big. Because this is, let's see how wide across it is. This is three and a quarter this way, and then we came down an inch and a quarter. So that's how big of a little cutout you need to make there. And then I'm just going to take my mono eraser and just go over that to make sure that I don't have any little pencil marks showing. There we go. Now we can go ahead and pull the backing off our score tape and glue these together. So you want to glue the opposite. So in other words, I want to glue this one with the little oval right here because this is my side. This is either my front or back. So I want another one here. I want like a front, a side, a back, and a side. So let's glue it right there. Just make sure that you bring it right up to that score line and it's even at the ends. There we go. And then you can just flip it over. And we've got score tape over here. I'm just going to put that one down right there. And it should go together really, really smooth. And I tore my paper right there just a little bit, but I'm just going to clip that off because that's going to be underneath. It's not going to show. So that's what you have right there. And then we're going to put this bottom together. So it doesn't really matter which one's your front and which one's the back because you've got a seam on both of them. But I'm just going to look to see which one looks the smoothest. And I think this one does. So this is going to be, that's going to go in like that. This one will go over and that one will come over. So let's go ahead and put some, I'm just going to put art glitter glue on here. If I was putting something heavy in here, I would definitely use double-sided adhesive but this will probably not hold anything real heavy so let's bring this one over first and just match up the corners the edges and then I'll go ahead and put my glue on here and then press that down and I'm just gonna make sure that I get the ends matched up. Then we'll take our bone folder and go down inside here and just press that down. There we go. Okay, I have some mats cut that are from the new paper collection that we have in and let me show you the front of it. It is the Here Comes Santa Claus. It's from Echo Park love 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 these papers i like that drummer boy the christmas trees the candy canes i just like everything about it so we have some of these in stock and i'll link those below but i'm using one of these sheets from it these mats this one is cut at four and three quarters by five and one quarter i didn't run it all the way up because this is going to have something else on it so a lot of this is not going to show 
so I just ran it part the way up and then that way I saved some of my paper too so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it on here where I want to glue it down so I'm just going to kind of lay it where I want to glue it just like that and I'm gonna hold it and then I'm just gonna flip it to the inside here and do a little bit of tracing just so I can trim that off and if you don't want to carry it all the way up so that you don't have to do this then you don't have to just take it down to the bottom of that little place that you cut out there and you can just do it like that you don't have to do it this way so you could just stop it right here just straight across if you wanted to and do something else up here you would not have to do this and of course you could glue them on and then cut them both at the same time that looks about right right there it doesn't have to come down very far and it doesn't have it can come even with that because that's going to be covered so don't even worry about it being even because all of this right here is going to be covered so let's just i'm going to trim just a tiny bit more off right here all right then i'm just going to lay it over on this one make sure i've got it the right way up and then i'll just mark this one and trim it out Okay, so we're going to glue those, that one down right there. And like I said, don't worry that it's not even at the top. Don't worry about that. I'll show you why we're going to cover all of that up in just a minute. Now, I'm going to try to get this as even as I can. And then we're going to put mats on the side, and these are cut at two and a quarter by five and a quarter. Let's see. And I'm going to run these all the way up because they're not going to have anything that's going to hide the top of them. So I'm going to run them all the way up. So two and a quarter by five and a quarter will get you just the right size for the sides. I think this poinsettia paper is so pretty. I love poinsettias. I usually kill them, but I love them because I have a black thumb. Okay, now I'm not going to cover the bottom, but you can if you want to. So now you need to take a piece of paper, and this is just the back side of that poinsettia paper. And I'm going to take my two dies. I've got one that is... Um, going to be the outside which is uh, approximately three and seven eighths and then I've got a smaller one on the inside that is about two and seven eighths and I've got them taped together to where I want to cut these so I'm going to take this to my big shot and I'm going to cut two of these and I'll be right back all right now I have cut two of these out and then I've cut two of the red out using that same die set that I had and I'm going to glue these together just to make them stronger because these are going to be your little handles. Now my die set is not a stitch die but if you had a stitched a circle stitch die set that would be so pretty on this. Mine's not stitched and I don't have a circle one that is but that'd be really pretty. Okay, and now what we're going to do with these is we're going to take them and put them on the outside just like that. So we're going to put some glue around through here. Alright, so just like that, there's your first handle. And then we want to do the same thing over here. Okay, there's your other handle. 
Isn't that cute? That's going to make a nice bag to put some gifts in at Christmas. And then I have just cut out from the same circle die set, I have cut out a green piece and then I've got a piece of this and then I just have a white piece and I'm going to kind of stack those up and I'm going to stamp on that one. And I'm going to use this Kaiser Craft die set and it's from Frosted and if I can find it I'll link it below. And we're going to use this right here. It says, May the Spirit of Christmas bring you joy. And I'm going to stamp it right in this little circle. Just like that. And I think I'm going to use my Tim Holtz platform. That looks pretty close to the center right there. And I'm going to use this ink. It's called Bamboo Leaves. I'm going to ink that up. There we go. That looks good. I'm thinking now I just want to use that red and that white one and leave these off. I like the look of that. So we're going to glue the red one straight down and then we're going to pop the little white one up. So I'll grab some foam dots and put a few on here. And then just kind of center that up. press it down right there and then we're going to put a little ribbon right here and this will be finished and you can always hang a tag off of it you know a to and from tag okay we just have some red satin ribbon let's see if I can tie a bow right here Okay, then we're going to take our scissors and trim that off just a little bit at an angle. And there's our bow. And there's our little package. And you can put all different kinds of bows on here. You can dress this up. If you don't have the stitch dies, you can go around through here and make stitch marks with your pins. But I think th those are cute little bags and they'll look very cute under the Christmas tree. And they're pretty sturdy. I think that'll hold quite a bit. I could put perfume in there, socks, uh, just lots of different things that I can put in there for little treats for the kids. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little bell when that bell pops up so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. And we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.